Well, I want to take a minute and uh, introduce you to the sewing machine that started it all. That uh, I know you guys have seen uh, Katie sewing there, and you've seen me sewing in a couple videos with the Sailrite machine, and we, I did a couple tops, and we've done some upholstery, but the sewing machine that started it all was headed to the garbage years ago. I got this machine 20 years ago down in Detroit at my aunt's. Uh, my Uncle Jim was going to throw it in the garbage and it's a 1928 Singer. And it's a really cool sewing machine because it's a bullet bobbit machine. And I'll show you in a minute what that means. But uh, this was going in the garbage and I uh, saved it put new electrical cords on it and got it working and this was my first sewing machine and I wanted an old singer because if you want to sew through denim or if you want to sew through anything heavy and you don't want to spend a ton of money you find one of these old machines and the only thing it'll ever do is break needles you can't hurt the machine I, I, I don't I don't think you could physically damage that machine short of taking a sledgehammer to it but uh it will break needles you, you, you if you have a needle strike or whatever you can break needles in it but you won't hurt the machine it'll sew through anything you can get a needle through and i've been running heavier needles in it and it'll sew through six layers of canvas i mean it'll sew through blue jean seams everything so i'm gonna load this thing up with a little piece of vinyl fabric on the top so it's got something to sew through and I'll flip it up and show you the bullet bobbin because the bullet bobbin is just totally different than a regular bobbin so give me a second here and we'll get her set up okay so we're back I got a couple pieces of fabric in here I already trapped my threads I ran a couple stitches in there and as you can see it's sewing and we're gonna flip this machine back on its side I just got this table for it the other day literally and cut it out so it'll uh, fit in the table so here is the bullet bobbin assembly and hopefully here you'll be able to see that I gotta make sure I turn the machine the right way so that arm passes the bobbin through and it catches the thread every time and it passes the thread over the bobbin let me focus here see that thread see it going over that bobbin it's it pulled all the way past that bobbin and then it comes out the back see and here we go and I'm gonna stop this for a second and I want to get some extra light here so we can really see here we go again with some light so we'll zoom right in so you can see you can see that thread and right there's the needle slot and it just pulls that thread Sorry, the LED light there and the camera aren't jiving quite right. Now, if you look, let me angle that light a little different here. See, right there, right now I'm trying to hold the camera in the flashlight <laughs> and everything at one time. But that's the needle coming down right there. And see, it hooks that thread. Now if you watch, when I cycle this back, there goes the needle up. Now it comes all the way back. As this is coming back, the needle's coming down. If you watch, you'll see the needle comes all the way down bottoms, comes up just a little bit, and stops just enough to get that little loop in that thread and that go over that bullet bobbin. 
just like that and that is why this is called a bullet bobbin machine and if you can picture that thing just get to gets to singing on there okay focus all right let's set this machine back up so you can see it here let's put her back in her hole I'm oh, sorry there you go and we're about running off the fabric but anyways there it is this old machine is a 1928 singer it is an antique and one thing I'll tell you about this machine is right here if you're guiding fabric back and you don't watch this little that little screw for tightening that needle that will run your finger right into the table if you're not paying attention when it comes down but I just thought it was kind of neat show you the machine that got me into sewing and I just this is what I started with it's a I believe it's 1928 I'd have to look at the look. I looked up the serial number once. I'm pretty sure it is either 28 or 32. But uh, yeah, that this was my aunt's mother's sewing machine that she sewed all Aunt Pat's clothes on. You know, back in the oh god, what was it in the 30s when she was going to school and stuff. Yeah, this thing's been in our family like 90 years, <laughs> and it was going to the garbage. Because you couldn't even plug it in when I got it because all the old wiring it, it was just rotted. And so I rewired the whole thing and put it together. And uh, then I got this nice table and I cut out a notch in the table to sit the machine in. But up there, right there, if you look up, that's the original box that the sewing machine came in. And... Uh, you know, because it was a tabletop machine, it was never in a treadle table. It was just a portable machine. And what's really, well, it's kind of funny and kind of cool, but the the motor is actually a DC motor on here, not an AC motor. It runs on AC. It doesn't like it, but it runs on it. But that's an actual, it's so old, it's got an actual DC motor on it. But it's been a good machine. I, I like it, and it's a lot of fun, and I just thought I'd share uh, the little Singer sewing machine here that got me into sewing with y'all. So till next time, like, subscribe, comment. Hope you enjoyed this.